Spacebound presents 10 Game Show Cheaters Caught on Live TV. Game shows are indeed a good form of entertainment. Recorded game shows can be edited though, but you can't do anything when it comes to a live show. Live cameras catch a lot more than you would think. Sometimes the bloopers are enough to create chaos and a mere form of action, not meant for most viewers' eyes. Number 10, Shazam, Tech Steals the Show. A model named Adriana Abina was caught cheating on air in a game show called Passa Palabra, which is a Brazilian show. In the show, the contestants were supposed to guess the song and the artist of the song that was being played, more like the guessing game. Adriana didn't have much knowledge of music, or to escape from the embarrassment, she tried to use a mobile app called Shazam to know about the songs. That's how she cheated, taking help from an app making a laughing stock of herself. But the host appreciated her bravery since she was brave enough to actually cheat in front of a live audience on a live show. Nobody had ever done that before in the seven year history of the show being on air. That took a lot of courage indeed, a good thing she didn't win anything or otherwise it would have been considered unfair for previous and future contestants. Number 9. Blame the G. It's not always the contestants who cheat, it's sometimes the host himself. Same instance happened on a show called Wheel of Fortune hosted by Pat Sajak, an unfair treatment towards a contestant, Renee Durrett. During the question and answer session, Durrett was doing completely fine, answering all the questions correctly and all of a sudden, Pat stops her and says the answer is completely incorrect, yet the answer was completely right. The only thing wrong was the old man's hearing. Later, since the same question was answered by another contestant, the answer was the same that of Durrett's, but the only difference was the pronunciation of the G in the answer, seven swans a swimming. You can't blame Pat, blame the G. Number 8. Sometimes we fix it all. Some game shows aren't what they seem to be. Although game shows are being aired live, but something known as fiction also exists. Some game shows are also fixed. The winners are already decided. The show Soul Train was not a game, but it had a segment which was a game. The segment was called Soul Train Scramble Board. The contestants on the game had to pick two dancers, and they were given a name to unscramble. Whoever unscrambles the first wins. When the show ended, the host Don Cornelius revealed that the game was fixed, all in every single one of the episodes. When the show was ended, the host Don Cornelius revealed that the game show was fixed in all of the episodes of the show. The dancers already knew the answer, yet they played it so well in acting on screen according to the script. It was all fiction though, so it wasn't a controversy of much importance. Number 7. Wanted. A man named Carrie D. Ketchum, convicted for the false allegations of death of his wife just to claim insurance, appeared on a game show called Super Passwords. He insisted to use a fake name, Mr. Patrick Quinn, and won $58,000. But his hard luck, he was identified by some random people in the audience and was arrested upon his arrival to claim his winnings. The funny thing is how one can be so stupid enough to come on live television while being wanted. Number 6, 21. Some producers pay artists to cheat in game shows. A similar thing happened with Herb Stemple. After Herb passed the qualifying test in which he had to answer, how would you like to make $25,000? The producer of 21 approached him and asked him to cheat blatantly. The producer of 21 approached him and asked him to cheat in the show. He was then later trained to know all the answers as well as how to answer them and present himself according to the script. He was later defeated by another similarly trained opponent. His winnings were $69,500. Number 5, 21, not what you thought. 21 wasn't a fair game show, contrary to what we all thought. To defeat Stemple, Charles Van Doren was brought into the show. He was also trained like Stemple. Both of the contestants drew over multiple games over a series of episodes, and yet in the end, Doren was the one to be victorious. Number 4, well played Fox Studios. Sometimes the studio itself cheats in a game show. A couple, Gabe and Brittany, appeared in the game show Million Dollar Money Drop in which the contestants had to divide their money among three doors, each with the correct or incorrect answer to a question. If chosen the wrong answer, the money would be lost. While playing the game, the couple had to answer a question which was which of these sold first and were given three options, Macintosh Computer, Post-it Notes, and Sony Walkman. The couple chose Post-it Notes, which during the show was an incorrect answer, and the couple lost $800,000 of their original $1 million because the correct answer was actually Sony Walkman. But later when the show was aired, it was revealed that the correct answer was indeed Post-it Notes. After knowing this, the producers told the couple that they can reappear on a later episode instead of admitting their mistake in proper giving them the money that they should be having, but that never happened, and instead the show was cancelled. Number 3, Charles Ingram. Charles was an army major when he first appeared in the show How to Become Millionaire, in which he actually won 1 million euros, yet it was found that he actually cheated in the game show. When a trial took place, it was revealed that Charles used to contemplate different answers out loud for the confirmation from his wife, who used to cough to indicate the correct answer. Now is that crazy? Number 2, Controversial. K. 
Khaled El Katani's case is quite controversial. After appearing in the show Millionaire Hot Seat, he claimed that he answered all five questions correctly on the basis of only the host's body language and expressions. He said he could read the host and audience behind him, which told him the correct answers. But it wasn't a significant scandal since the producer laughed it off believing that there was no such thing from the host's end. And finally, number one, luck, no such thing for a game show. Michael Larson was a huge fan of the game show Press Your Luck. Before appearing on the show, he watched all of the episodes really, really keenly and observed the patterns of the spin. He replayed the episodes again and again until he figured out that the spins were systematic instead of randomized, yet he practiced at home before going on air. He was successful with the strategy and he also won $110,000, which is the highest amount on the show so far. And with that being said, that concludes Space Mountain's 10 game show cheaters caught on live TV. My name is Games and Right as usual, and if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And also, don't forget to check out a couple more awesome videos that I've done in the past, and have yourselves an amazing, not-cheating-filled day.